so it's time to look at this uh, topic filigree burns filigree burns okay now filigree burns what are these are they are superficial thin superficial can you see them they are superficial thin irregular torches marking involving moist creases and folds of skin okay they are caused when effect of lightning is very superficial so superficial um, uh, effect of lightning is will cause this filigree burns it will cause this filigree burns okay now filigree burns are superficial thin irregular torches marking involving moist creases and folds of skin caused when effect of lightning is very superficial so effect of lightning is superficial the burns are also superficial these are also called as a r b o r b o r e s e n t r b o r e s e n t burns or light Lichten, Lichten, Berg, flowers. Okay, so they are called arborescent burns or light. Che, Lichten. Let's go with the spelling always because we have to write it in the exam. Lichten Berg flowers. Flowers. They are not flowers, but really they are not flowers. They are. Lichtenberg flowers, okay. Arborescent burns or Lichtenberg flowers or filigree burns. In the exam, they will give you this word, filigree burns, and they'll ask you to explain it. The features of uh, now. Let us move on to the features. We're done with the introduction. Now we are moving on to the features of filigree burns. All liner burns, three to thirty centimeter or more in length, okay. so they can be 3 to 30 cm in length they can be 3 to 30 cm in length length can be 3 to 30 cm breadth can be 0.3 cm to 2.5 cm you can see very thin lines 0.3 cm okay so they have a pattern resembling the branches of tree they have fern like pattern not difficult to understand that right look at that they have a tree like or a fern like pattern pattern resembling branches of tree correct continuing here so basically they wherever where they are found they are found over shoulders or flanks so they are found over shoulders or the flanks right so they are not associated with burning and they not they don't correspond with, with blood vessels right they are not in the blood vessels part there is some random pattern they are they are not concerned they are not a pattern which is associated with burning they are not associated with burning and they don't correspond with any blood vessels okay it indicates the path taken by current in the body so it indicates what the path taken by the current in the body and if person survives it may disappear it will just disappear in a day or two <clears throat> day or two it will disappear <clears throat> so basically if the person survives it will disappear within 2 days now this is the path taken by the current the path taken by the current that is the pattern it indicates the path taken by the current it's not clear <clears throat> whether they develop instantaneously or develop within minutes after death so they are not clear they develop instantaneously or develop within few minutes after death but what if the person is alive okay so we are moving on anyways causes so we are moving on to the causes now guys we are moving on to the causes of filigree burn causes of what where are we filigree burns the causes so these are just theories that they have as to why this happens so basically static electricity discharges along superficial vasculature so static electricity can cause this static electricity if you have seen like uh, uh, sometimes when you touch uh, some kind of furniture also you will get some door you touch or something right uh, at that times also you get whenever there's carpeted floor mostly i have seen that kind of carpeted floor wherever you go now you touch anything the door the uh, you touch the anything like the window whatever you touch now you will get uh, static electricity shock i have got a lot of these static electricity shocks so static electricity can cause this kind of superficial um, uh, filigree burns okay 
Now, hemoglobin staining of tissues in pattern of tree due to breakdown of RBCs with, within cutaneous capillary. So, what and all other theories they are suggesting? Static electricity. Right? Static electricity. The next one they are saying is hemoglobin staining. After RBC breakdown, the hemoglobin stains. Electron shower eliciting an inflammatory response in skin. What the hell is this electron shower? I have no idea what this is. Electron shower. I have no idea what this is. Electron shower eliciting an inflammatory response. This is an inflammatory response of the skin. So some electron shower. From where these electrons came? From electricity only, right? Next, next theory they have is current flowing lines of perspiration and skin moisture. Current flowing lines. What is this? Then minute deposits of copper. If there is deposit of copper in skin, it can happen. They are skin. Boiling of intracellular fluid following facial planes. Some intracellular fluid uh, boiling. Boiling boiling of intracellular fluid intracellular fluid is boiling with following facial planes what is this god so these are the theories guys that they have put forward for uh, causes for filigree burns so just look at them again so they're talking about static electricity hemoglobin staining there can be copper in the skin okay then they are talking about some electron shower then they are talking about perspiration and skin moisture. Because that the current will try to follow the path of perspiration and skin moisture. So you can say perspiration and moisture. Skin moisture can lead the current in that direction. Boiling of intracellular fluids. Boiling of intracellular fluids. So what are the uh, causes guys? Can you tell the causes? Static electricity, hemoglobin, copper in the skin. Perspiration moisture which will lead the current in that path. Boiling of the intracellular fluid. Some intra, uh, electron shower also they are telling. Okay, Inflammatory response of the skin. So we are done with the causes of uh, filigree burns. Now we are moving on to the medical legal importance of the filigree burns. This is not difficult. Either standard we'll write off. Usually this will be accidental only. right? Who will go and deliberately... Okay, let us see. Pathognomic is lightning injury. That is the classic. The classic type is lightning injury. You can differentiate between natural death and murder. So, you can differentiate between natural death and murder. Lightning death is invariably it's accidental. So, in the beginning itself, we told you it will be accidental. So, nobody knows when the lightning will hit, right? So, it is accidental in lightning death. Can be lightning death, okay? So we are done with filigree burns, right? Are you happy? Did you understand everything? Shall we wind up this video? Bye-bye.